Well, these new numbers come as the CDC faces some new criticism for easing guidelines on COVID isolation. Paul Gerke has more on that. Paul. Adrian, sometimes it's easier to take a look at that seven-day rolling average number. It gives us a better idea of exactly how many new cases there are as opposed to leaning on one day of data. That number right now, 267,000 cases, the largest it's been in nearly two years of the pandemic. So why would the CDC change its recommendations now? The agency contends it's because we know more about COVID, particularly when it's the most transmissible. But their new decisions have plenty of people scratching their heads inevitably going to have more and more and more people getting infected with the Omicron variant. The Centers for Disease Control is taking a step that's striking some as counterintuitive, relaxing its COVID guidance. From now on, anyone who tests positive and remains symptom-free is advised to isolate for five days instead of 10, followed by five days of mask wearing around others. The pivot comes as new infections lead to widespread sick outs that threaten to paralyze vital segments of our economy. People with important jobs in keeping society functioning may not be able to come to work if they're all out for a full 10 days. The restaurant industry is dealing with a double whammy, too many open positions and now too many workers catching COVID. Business owners are hopeful shorter stays in isolation will ease staffing shortages. It appears that that could really help this industry getting people back to work as long as they are healthy and not symptomatic. But critics contend the CDC is putting the economy ahead of public health, especially since the new guidelines don't encourage people who've tested positive to test negative before emerging from isolation. Dr. Jerome Adams, who served as Surgeon General under former President Trump, did not hold back on Twitter. If it's to keep the economy open, own it, he wrote, but don't claim it's science-based, yet ignore the most important science, the value of negative tests and high-quality masks. According to CDC Director Rochelle Walensky, they're simply adapting to the changing times. More people are vaccinated now than they were a year ago when we didn't have the vaccines. And although that doesn't prevent infection or transmission, it does lead to more mild symptoms. So one could, I guess, assume that leaving five days earlier when you're quarantining is acceptable. But Adrian, I think a lot of people are looking at this and sort of raising an eyebrow. It's not the first time the CDC has changed its guidance on COVID throughout this pandemic. We remember the mask wearing debacle. We remember the faulty tests from the first year of this. I think people are just awfully skeptical anytime the CDC decides to make a big change. I think you're 100 percent right. And I think there's a lot of confusion uh, that could be caused by this. But on the other hand, you've got people who know that this has progressed. The science and the data that we have has progressed and quite possibly we're a lot smarter or more informed at least from the medical standpoint than we were a year ago thank you so much for watching make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage